Hello friends, welcome back to our lesson. Last lesson we have seen many things about management information system. Today we are going to see about chapter 5. Chapter 5 about knowledge management. Stay tuned. Knowledge management is the process of capturing, developing, sharing and effectively using organizational knowledge. As you know, knowledge management is the process. It is the process of, by which you are going to capture, develop, share, and effectively use organizational knowledge. Organizational knowledge are many. So uh, you have to use those organizational knowledge effectively. Knowledge management is the discipline of enabling individuals, teams, and the entire organization to collectively and systematically create, share, and apply knowledge. It means that knowledge management is a discipline uh, which enable individuals as well as team, it can be the entire organization, in order to collectively, means all those individuals, groups, teams, or organizations can use the knowledge management in order to share and apply those knowledge for achieving organizational objectives another one is what is sources of knowledge sources of knowledge are divided into two those are intrinsic and extrinsic when we see in uh, instinct in sorry an in, in seat means when an ant crawl in your right arm the left arm automatically moves towards the right arm it means that for example if you are cloned by and the left heart arm are going to move automatically in order to drive away the ants. This is the reality. Uh, the mind does not reason there. Uh, when you see a scorpion in front of your leg, you withdraw your leg automatically. Uh, it means even if you see uh, the scorpion, if you see the scorpion, your leg may be automatically moved. This is a term in instinct or automatic movement. As you cross a street, how instinctively you move your body to save yourself from the cars. It is replic in general manifested in all lower kind, uh, king, kingdom of nature as also in a man. The second one is reason. Is faculty exhibited only by human beings by virtue of the development of mind and the brain reason is a faculty exhibited only by human beings by virtue of the development of mind and the brain reason is higher than instinct and is found only in human beings it collects factors reason collects factors generalize reasons out from cause to effects from effects to cause, from premises to conclusion, from proposition to proofs, as well as it concludes, decide and comes to judgment. Reason also takes you safely to the door of intuition and leaves you there. Believe reasoning, knowledge and faith are the four important psychic processes. For example, the four <coughs> important uh, psych process of reason is belief the first one is belief the second one is reasoning and the third one is knowledge first you have believe in doctor for example you have to believe in doctor you go to him for diagnosis and the treatment he makes a thorough examination and then prescribe certain medicine you take them you reason out such and such is the disease the doctor has given me iron and the loaded iron will improve my blood the loaded will stimulate the lymphatics and absorb the exudation and the growth in the liver so i should take it you make a decision then the disease is cured by a course of these drugs in a month then you get knowledge of and perfect phase in efficiency of their medicine and the proficiency of the doctor. Then you recommend to your friend this doctor and his drugs. Intuition. The second one is 
the third one is intuition the from instinct the first one is reason the second one is intuition intuition is the deep mental faculty that underlies and makes possible a variety of behaviors both ordinary and exceptional in which new information appears in the mind without apparent cause this appears strange but it is actually a natural gaining and inborn capacity of the human mind of capturing entirely new information knowledge and understanding without the use of one's family faculties of reasoning sensing and the memory this is a definition by exclusion and intuition calls for a better one but it is simple and correct and will suffice for the moment this is known as intuition intuition is the ability to understand in the something instinctively without the need of concise reasoning it is the power of obtaining knowledge that cannot be acquired either by influence or observation by reason or experience as such intuition is tough of as original independent source of knowledge thus intuition can be considered as an instinct part of knowledge the third one is self-realization knowledge based on experience is known as self-realization types of knowledge the first one is explicit explicit knowledge that is codified or recorded or actualized into some forms outside of the head is known as explicit knowledge things we can write down share with others and put into database is also known as explicit explicit knowledge has also been called leaky knowledge another name of explicit knowledge is leaky knowledge because of the ease with which it can leave an individual document or the organization of after it has been documented is explicit knowledge Explicit knowledge is the policies, procedural guides, white papers, reports, designs, products, strategies, and so on. Example, encyclopedia and the textbook are an example of explicit knowledge. The second types of knowledge is tacit knowledge. Knowledge from experience and insight, not in a recorded form but that is in our head is tacit knowledge intuition is the kind of knowledge that is difficult to transfer to another person by means of writing it down or verbalizing it it bases on experience tacit knowledge is depends upon mainly on your own knowledge and experiences it cannot be easily transferred examples awareness skills mental model expertise judgment wisdom corporate memory these all are an example of tacit knowledge another topic in today's lesson is knowledge creation how you are going to create knowledge Formation of new ideas through interaction between explicit and the tacit knowledge in individual human minds is known as knowledge creation. It consists of socialization. Socialization means tacit to tacit, externalization tacit to explicit, or the combination of both is known as knowledge creation. managing knowledge creation why we manage knowledge creation to enable and encourage knowledge sharing to create suitable work environment to provide systems that support the work process these all are the main reason for managing knowledge creation
benefit of knowledge management some of the benefits are prevent staff from constantly reinventing the wheel provide a baseline for progress measurement reduce the burden on expert attrition makes visual thinking tangible and the managers effectively large volumes of information to help employees serve their clients better and faster increasing company benefits knowledge management helps to solve most of the common business problems and helps companies increase their benefits so the first way is improve business decision thanks to facilitated access to expertise and to leading practice increasing efficiency productivity and work smarter by reducing cases of reinventing the wheel improving innovation through wider and borderless collaboration reducing loss of know-how by capturing explicit and tacit knowledge speeding productivity with onboard training and timely access to knowledge increasing client satisfaction by delivering value insights enhancing quality and ability to collaborate by standardizing way of working enabling discussion with leading experts awareness and accessibility is also another means availability for example knowledge is usable wherever it is needed whether from the home office on road or at customer side this enable increased responsiveness to customer partner and the co-worker timeliness knowledge is available whenever it is needed eliminating time wasting distribution of information just in case people are interested function of knowledge management functions of knowledge management <coughs> we can divide all the function performed by knowledge management into five categories there are five categories of functions of knowledge management the first one is intermediation intermediation refers to brokering or knowledge transfer between an appropriate knowledge provider or knowledge seeker its role is to match a knowledge seeker or with optimal source of knowledge for that seeker by doing so intermediation ensure a much more efficient transfer of knowledge second externalization externalization refers to transfer of knowledge from the minds of this holder into external repository it is the process by which you are going to exploit your knowledge in the most efficient way possible the function of externalization is to provide the sharing of knowledge this is where competitive intelligence business intelligence comes in through knowledge management tools it is possible to track the vast quantity of data about competitor from new stories to price changes in general externalization is the process by which you are going to transfer your knowledge from your mind to the external repository internalization 
internalization is the extraction of knowledge from the external repository and the filtering of this knowledge to provide greater relevance to the knowledge seeker the process by which you are going to extract a knowledge from the external repository and filter this knowledge is known as internalization knowledge should be presented to the user in the forms most suitable to its comprehension this function may include interpretation and or reformatting of the presentation of knowledge to implement this function companies can build yellow pages thus mapping and categorizing the skills and work experience of the organization another aspect of internalization would be the documentation of the best practices cognition cognition is the function of system to make decision based on available knowledge cognition is the application of knowledge which has been exchanged through the preceding three functions measurement refers to all knowledge management activities that measure map and quantify corporate knowledge and the performance of knowledge management solutions This function act to support the other four functions rather than to actually manage the knowledge itself. Another topic is knowledge management application in organization how you are going to apply knowledge management for your organization using knowledge management is essential for company success due to these three key reasons decision making capability to build learning organization by making learning routine three stimulate cultural change and innovation facilitate decision making capability data can offer managers a wealth of information but processing overwhelming amount can get in the way of achieving high quality decisions building learning organization by making learning gravity this has created a culture where everyone continuously access themselves the building learning organization may King learning gravity creates a culture where everyone continuously access themselves these units and their organs should looking for ways to improve after every important activity or event army teams review assignments identify success and the failures and seek ways to perform better the next time This approach to capturing learning from experience build this knowledge that can then be used to streamline operations and improve processes. Stimulate cultural change and innovation. Actively managing organizational knowledge can also stimulate cultural change. Innovation and encourage free flow of ideas. 
these types of knowledge management program can help managers embrace changes and encourage ideas and insights which often lead to innovation even for local mom and pop business owners challenges of knowledge management there are many challenges for knowledge management from those of the following are listed the first one is lack of trust among individual is the best barrier lack of trust among individual is the first barrier it inhibit sharing of knowledge with others in organization lack of incentive lack of or weakness of reward system can hinder knowledge sharing and the transfer motivation play an important role for the knowledge sharer organizational culture has been recognized as significant barrier to knowledge sharing a culture of high power distance low individualism and higher masculinity and high uncertainty avoidance act as barrier to our knowledge sharing and the transfer in chinese organization culture of high power distance low individualism higher masculinity and high uncertainty is some reasons as it prevents individual from risk taking and experimentation when it comes to transferring knowledge across a dissimilar culture openness to diversity comes into play when there is lack of time when workload is heavy sharing and the transfer of knowledge become very difficult researchers have identified heavy workload as major reason for having limited or no time for knowledge sharing this implies that workload is the major reason lack of technology if you do not have enough technology it may likely that transferring of knowledge is difficult which implies that successful sharing of transfer of knowledge which confirms it as a bar it means lack of technology is the first bar insufficient support of top management if the top management do not support it is likely the sharing of knowledge is failed the presence of poor leadership is the same as the lack of support from top management so a such factor hinder the transfer of knowledge in an organization another issue we are going to see is trends of knowledge management cognitive learning as opposed to intermit like technologies and other forms of repositories the development of cognitive learning technology is allowing machines to reach new level of understanding and assist decision making talent management talent management is providing to be tougher than ever a fresh and simplified knowledge management model current models are still far too complex and need constant translation and adoption to suit organization 
coming from implementing knowledge management in engineering and IT based firms. It is found that simplified model work well. Focus on customer knowledge. Focus on technical knowledge, but it needs to align with the other areas so that it can help extract valuable knowledge. For example, identifying lessons learned directly from client is a great place to start. Thank you very much. This is all about knowledge management. Goodbye. Chapter 4. In, in this chapter, we are going to see the common business application of information technology. Here, business information technology is going to be applied. The areas. What are the major areas that information technology are going to be applied as introduction we are going to see the common business application into two it means these are functional business system application which includes accounting finance marketing human resource and etc and cross-sectional business system application which include transactional processing system thus here we will discuss these types of common business application area in general common business application of IT is generally divided into two those are functional and cross-sectional the functional business area includes accounting finance marketing and human resource The cross-sectional one includes transactional processing system. So let me see each of them. First, let me see functional business system. These are as many ways to use information technology in business. As there are business activities to be performed, business problems to be solved, and the business opportunity to be pursued. There are variety of types of functional business system. From them, some of them are accounting, finance, marketing, operation management, and human resource management. Accounting system. Here we have seen different types of functional business system and we have listed accounting, finance, human resource and etc. Now we are going to see each of them in detail. The first is accounting system. The accounting system is a system that is oldest and the most widely used information system. This accounting system is also divided into many categories. The first one is operational accounting system. Operational accounting system is mainly emphasized legal and historical record keeping. It deals with the legal and historical record keeping and the production of accurate financial statements. Typically, this system includes TPS or transactional processing system, order processing, inventory control, and accounting receivable, account payable, payroll, and the general legal system. Another type of accounting system is management accounting system. Management accounting system focuses on planning and the control of business operation. They emphasize cost accounting, report, 
development of financial budget, project financial statement, analytical report, and comparing actual to forecasted performance. Online accounting systems. Online accounting system mainly deals with the activity of accounting which is depend upon internet or networks. That is why the internet and the network changes how accounting information system monitor and track business activity. The interactive nature of online accounting system call for new forms of transit. The action documents, procedures, and controls. This particularly applies to systems like order processing, inventory control, account receivable, and account payable. Here is the list of common business accounting systems. The first one is order processing, inventory control, account receivable, account payable, payroll, and the general ledger is common business accounting system. Financial management system. Computer-based management systems support business managers and professional in decision concerning the financing of business. This FM or financial management deals with financing of business and the allocation and the control of financial resources within the business. The major financial management system categories include cash, investment management, capital budgeting, financial forecasting, and financial planning. For example, the capital budgeting process involves evaluating the profitability and the financial impact of proposed capital expenditure long-term expenditure proposal for facilities and equipment can be analyzed using a variety of return on investment valuation techniques. Fin financial analysis also typically use electronic spreadsheet and the other financial planning software to evaluate the present and the project financial performance of businesses. They help to determine the financing needs of business and analyze alternative methods of financing. Financial analysts use financial forecast concerning economic situation, business operation, types of finance available, interest rate, and the stock and the bond provides to develop an optimal financial plan for businesses. Here we are seeing about the financial management system. The financial system or financial analyst in many cases use electronic spreadsheet from those, the financial analyst used to forecast based on economic situation, business operation, types of financing, and so on. This electronic spreadsheet package, DSS software, and the web-based groupware can be used to build and manipulate financial models. Information system in finance. They are generally divided into four. Cash management, 
investment management, capital budgeting, and financial planning. Forecast and manage cash position. This activity is done by cash management. Manage short term security and long term security by invest management. Evaluation of risk by capital management and forecast financial performance is done by financial planning. Marketing information system. The business function of marketing is concerned with the planning, promotion, and the sale of existing products in existing markets and the development of new products and new market to better attract and serve present and potential customer. Marketing information system provide information technology that support major components of marketing function. For instance, internet and internet websites like interactive marketing. What is interactive marketing? Interactive marketing is a process by which the customer is involved in development of the product. This process is known as interactive marketing. Another one is sales, sales force automation. System use mobile computing and internet technologies to automate many information processing activity for sales support and management. Here is an explanation of interactive marketing. Interactive marketing has been coined to describe a customer focused marketing process using internet, internet, and externet. The goal of interactive marketing is to enable a company to use those network profitably to attract and keep customers who will become partners with the business in creating, purchasing, and improving products and services. In interactive marketing, customers are not just passive participants who receive media advertising. It means in interactive marketing, customers are not only accepting what they are provided. It means they also participating in even in designing of the products. Interactive marketing encourage customers to become involved in product development, delivery and service issues. This is enabled by various internet technologies, including chat and discussion group, web forums, and questionnaires instant messaging and email correspondence. Finally, the expected outcome of interactive marketing are rich mixture of vital marketing. Data, new product ideas, volume sales and strong customer relationships. Another types of marketing is targeted marketing. Targeted marketing has become an important tool in developing advertising and promotion strategy to strengthen a company in commerce initiatives as well as its traditional business venues.
targeted marketing is advertising the promotion management concept that include five targeting components targeted marketing of five major components the first one is community companies can customize their web advertising message and promotion methods to appeal people in a specific community they can be communities of interest such as virtual communities of online sporting enthusiasts or artists and crafts hobbyists or geographic community formed by the websites of city or other local organization this implies that community is the first component of targeted marketing content and context advertising such as electronic billboard or banner can be placed on variety of selected websites in addition to company's website the content of this web message is aimed at targeted audience an ad for a product campaign on the opening page of internet search engine is typical example the third one is context advertising appears only in web pages that are relevant to context of product or services so advertising is targeted only at people who are already looking for information about subject matter example vacational travel that is related to company's product demographic psychographic web marketing efforts can be aimed at only specific types of class of people for example unmarried 20s middle income male co college or extra Fives types of or con components of targeted marketing is online behavior. Advertising and promotion efforts can be tailored to each visit to site by an individual. This strategy is based on a variety of tracking techniques such as web cookie. Web cookie is file recorded on the vit visitor's disk drive from previous visits this enables a company to track person's online behavior at its website so marketing efforts such as coupons redeemable at retail store or e-commerce websites can be targeted to that individual at visits to its website in general there are five components of targeted marketing those are community content context demographic and online behavior salesforce automation in many companies the salesforce is being outfitted with notebook computers web browsers and the sales contact management software that connects them to marketing website on the internet extranet and their company intranet it allows marketing and sales management to prove to improve the delivery of information and the support they provide to their sales people 
Therefore, many companies are viewing Salesforce automation as a way to gain strategic advantage on sales productivity and marketing responsiveness. Chapter 3 Formation Technology Under this chapter, we are going to see what hardware, software, what data, what the people, and what the procedures are. We are going to see each of them in detail. We are going to identify the main reason for using IT by organization. Describe the benefits of computer networking and discuss about components communication technology. Introduction The technology plays an information role in delivering timely and error-free information to its receipts. Technology include hardware, software, database, and communication system. Hardware is a set of devices such as processor, monitor, keyboard, and etc. Database is an integral part of IT system, which is collection of related files, table, relation, and etc. These databases store data and association among them. A network connects computing resources of an organization and facilitates sharing of hardware and software. Organization process and the people are integral part of IT system. IT components. There are five components of information technology. Those are people, software, data, networks, and hardware. These are the major components of information technology. Hardware. The basic computer operation. There are Five basic operation, operation or function of computer system. One, it accepts data, it stores data, it processes data and gives results in forms of output. It also controls the operation of computer system. Input The process of entering data and the program into a computer system is known as input. Input unit take data from the computer in an organized form or manner for processing. Here is the data the figure of computer operation as you see the first one is input the input goes to the storage unit and converted into output here there is a control unit and under control unit there are two types of processing units and central processing unit and automatic logic unit so the basic computer operation seems like this one.
storage the process of saving data and then instruction permanently is known as storage data has to be fed into the system before the actual processing starts because the processing speed of CPU is fast as such data is first stored in storage units for faster access and processing this storage unit or primary storage of computer system is designed to do the above functionality it provides space for storing data and instructions the storage unit performs the following major functions firstly all data and instruction are stored here and before after processing then intermediate results of processing are also stored here processing the task of performing operation like arithmetic and the logical operation is known as processing CPU takes data and instruction from storage unit and makes all sorts of calculation based on instruction given and the types of data provided. It is then sent back to storage. Output this is the process of producing results from data for getting useful information this process is known as output similar the output produced by the computer after processing must also be kept somewhere inside the computer before being given to you in home readable form again the output is also stored inside the computer for further processing the fifth function of computer system is control the manner how instructions are executed and the above operation are performed is called control Controlling of all operations like input, processing, and output are performed by control unit. It takes care step by step process of all operations inside the computer. Another issue in this chapter is, or in chapter 3, is also known as CPU or Central Processing Unit. As it is known, ALU or arithmetic logic unit and control unit of computer system are jointly known as CPU. CPU is com combined from two, those are ALU and CU. And CPU is also known as the brain of computer system. It serves like a brain for a computer system. It make several decision for a computer system one part of cpu is alu after you enter data through the input device it is stored in primary storage units and there are different input devices such as barcode reader mouse keyboard and several types then the actual processing of data and then instruction are performed by arithmetic logic units 
the major operation performed by ALU are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, logic, and comparison. Data is transferred to ALU from storage unit when required. After processing, the output is returned back to storage unit for further processing or getting stored. CU or control unit. The next component of computer is CU, which is supervising the activity of computer system. This control unit determines the sequence or the flow of computer program and the instruction, how they have to be executed. Things like processing of programs stored in the main memory, interpretation of the instruction and issuing of signal for other unit of computer to execute them. Control unit also act as a switchboard operator when several users access the computer simultaneously. Thereby, it coordinates the activities of computers' peripheral equipment as they perform the input and output. Therefore, control unit is the manager of computer system. Marketing information system it is divided into interactive marketing, sales force automation, customer relationship management, sales management, and again market research and management forecast, advertising and promotion, product management. These are all types of marketing information system. Operation management or manufacturing system. Operation management information system support the production operations functions that include all activities concerned with the planning and the control of this process, producing goods or services. Information system used for operation management and Transaction processing support all firms that must plan, monitor, and control inventory purchase and the flow of goods and services. Computer integrated manufacturing. A variety of manufacturing information system. Many of them, web enabled, is used to support computer integrated manufacturing. Overall objective of computer integrated manufacturing is three. Those are in order to simplify production process, in order to automate production process, and in order to integrate all production and support process. Therefore, the major objective of computer integrated manufacturing is simplifying production process, automating it, and integrate all production and support process. Computer aided manufacturing.
computer aided manufacturing system are those that automate the production process. For example, this could be accomplished by monitoring and controlling the production process in factory. or by directly controlling physical process a machine tool or machine with some human-like work capabilities such as robots. Manufacturing Execution System It is a performance monitoring information system for factory floor operations. They monitor, track, and control the five essential components involved in production process. Such as material, equipment, personnel, instructions, and specification in the production facilities. This manufacturing execution system include shop floor scheduling and the control, machine control, robotics control and process control system. This manufacturing system monitor, report and adjust the status and the performance of production components to help a company in order to achieve a flexible and high quality manufacturing process. Manufacturing execution system The manufacturing execution system include process control and the machine control. Process control is use of computer to control an ongoing physical process. These continuous physical measurements are converted to digital form by analog to digital converters. It means this process control major activity is controlling the entire function of the manufacturing. Machine control, it is used to by usage of computer to control the action of machines. This is absolutely good. It is also known as a numeric control. The computer-based control of machines, tools to manufacture products of all kinds is typical numerical control application used by manufacturers throughout the world. Human resource system. Human resource management function involves <coughs> manually deals with human resource activities such as selecting employees, compensating them, recreating them, placing them, even firing them as such activities dealing with human resource management. But its goal is to use effective and efficient using of human resource of the company. Thus, human resource information system is designed to support planning to meet the personal need of a business, development of employees to their full potential, and control of all personal policies and programs.
originally business used computer based information system for three major activities the first one is produce paycheck and payroll report maintaining personal records and analyzing the use of personal in business operation many firms have gone beyond this traditional personal management they use human resource information system for several functions such as recruitment selection hiring health and safety training and development performance appraisal employee benefit analysis and etc resource and the internet the internet has become a major force for change in human resource management for example online human resource system may involve recruiting for employees through recruitment section of corporate websites the internet has a wheels of information and the contact for both employers and the job hunters so both employees and employers can meet at some websites for example carebuilder.com hotjobs.com itiojobs.com and etc hrm and corporate internet internet technologies allow companies to process most common human resource management application over their corporate internet internet allow the human resource management department to provide around the clock service to their customers the employees Internet can access and update their personal information and enter time sensitive data. Through this completely electronic process, employees can use their web based process to look up individual payroll and benefit information online, right from their desktop, mobile, or another devices another benefit of internet is that it can serve as a superior training tool it means employee can easily download instruction and they can read for themselves Here is the complete list of using of human resource information system. As you can see, staffing, training, compensation, strategic system, tactical system, operational system, and all of them are listed here. cross-functional enterprise applications many company are using IT to develop integrated cross-functional enterprise system that cross the boundaries of traditional business function in order to re-engineer and improve vital business process all across the enterprise TPS are cross-functional information system that process data 
resulting from occurrence of business transaction. It is the main system serving the operational level of the organization. It records all of the daily routine transactions that takes place within the organization and it is used primarily by client and operational staff that either input or maintain the data on the system. TPS are special class of system designed to process business event and transaction. This TPS often re reside close to customer at the operational level of the organization. The goal of TPS is to automate repetitive information processing activity. And when we say transaction, it is event that occur as part of doing business such as sales, purchase, deposit, withdrawal, refund, payment and etc. Here is example of TPS, sales or marketing system, manipulating and production system, human resource management, finance accounting system. Online transaction processing system. Online transaction processing system play a strategic role in web enabled businesses. Many firms are using the internet and other network that ties in electronically to their customer or supplier for online transaction processing. Uh, such as real time system which capture and process transaction immediately. It means as you enter the data, it will capture and transact all the and process those transactions. In this transaction processing cycle, there are some procedures or there are some cycles. This started from data entry. The first of transaction processing cycle is capturing of business data. For example, transaction data may be collected by point of sales terminals using optical scanning of barcode and credit card reader. Transaction processing Transaction processing system process data in two ways Batch processing and real-time processing Bus processing process data based on by accumulating the data over time period and real time processing process data after the transaction is occurred. Database maintenance. An organization's database must be updated by its transaction processing system. 
so that they are always correct and up to date. Document and report generation. Document and report in document and report generation transaction processing system produce a variety of documents and reports. Example of those documents include purchase order, paycheck, sales, receipt, invoices, customer statement, and other. The last one is inquiry processing. Money transaction processing system allow you to use the internet, intranet, extranet, and web browser or database management query language to make inquiries and receive response concerning the result of transaction processing activity. Here is the full image of the transactional processing cycle start from data entry and end with inquiry processing Decision support in business. To succeed in business, companies need information systems that can support the diverse information and decision making needs of their managers and business professionals. Information decisions and management. This decision support in business topic is deals with mainly with how information system are going to support the managers in making a decision now let me see what information decision and the management is The types of information required by decision makers in a company is directly related to level of management decision making, plus the amount of structure in decision making situations they face. Thus, the level of money general decision making that must be supported by information technology in a successful organization are strategic management, tactical management, and operational management. Strategic management is mainly board of directors, CEOs, top executives, president, and others. Tactical management deals with self-directed teams, and their main activity activity is scheduling, budgeting, uh, specifying the policies and the procedures. While operational managers are mainly lower level managers. nature of decision making decision can be structured or unstructured and it also can be semi structured
structure decision can be taken objective there is clearly defined method of solving problem they are generally there is a right answer for the questions and structure this sort of decision can only be reached subjectively it means it is not objectively the parties are often made to them and structure decision into structured one by setting hard and test criteria semi structure lies between both structured and unstructured it means some of its parts are structured and some of its parts are not structured or unstructured Decision support system are computers based information system which provide interactive information support to managers and the business professional during decision making process. This DSS use analytical model, specialized model, a decision maker's own insight and judgment and an interactive computer based modeling process to support semi-structured business decisions. DSS components Unlike management formation system, decision support system on model basis as well as databases as a vital system resources. A DSS model base is a software component that consists of models used in computational and analytical routine that mathematically express relationship among variables for example a spreadsheet program may contain models that express simple accounting relationship among variables such as Revenue to expense five profit. A DSS model base could also include models and analytical techniques used to express much more complex relationship. DSS software or decision support system software package can combine model components to create integrated models that support specific types of decisions. DSS software typically contains built-in analytical modeling routine and also enables you to build your own models. Many DSS packages are now available in microcomputer and web enabled versions. Of course, electronic spreadsheet packages are provide some of the model building.
characteristic of decision support system. Broad based approach to supporting decision making. It helps to identify important feature trends, adapt the organization to changing condition. Decision maker rating control over the decision making process. It allows the capability to retrieve, manipulate, present, and store data. It means there are different characteristics of decision support system. Utilization of appropriate mathematical and statistical model. Query capability to obtain into by requesting the interactive mode of the system. Extend the individual reading process. Output direct to organizational personnel at all level. Comprehensive database. This is some characteristic of decision support system. Okay, storage unit. There are two kinds of computer memory, primary and secondary memory. The computer memory are generally divided into two. Those are primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory is accessible directly by the processing unit. RAM is an example of primary memory. As soon as the computer is switched off, the content of the primary memory will be lost. So that is why primary memory is known as volatile memory in many cases. You can store and retrieve data much faster with primary memory compared to secondary memory. Secondary memory is such as flash disk, floppy disk, magnetic disk is located outside of the computer. They are not found in inside computer system, rather they are out of computer system. And one thing is that the primary memory is more expensive than secondary memory. Because of this, the size of primary memory is less than the secondary memory. We will discuss the secondary memory here. Now let me see primary memory. Computer memory is used to store two things. Those are instruction to execute a program and a data. When the computer is doing any job, the data that have to be processed are stored in primary memory. This data may come from an input device like keyboard or from a secondary storage device like a floppy disk. As program or the set of instruction is kept in primary memory, the computer is able to follow instantly the set of instructions. For example, when you book ticket from railway reservation counter, the computer has to follow the same steps. They take the request, they check it, the uh, availability of the seat, and they calculate the pair and they reserve and get the ticket paid out. In the primary memory in computer system is found in the forms of integrated circuits. These circuits are called random access memory. Each of RAM location store one bytes of information. And it is obvious that 
one byte is equal to eight bits. The primary or internal storage section is made up of several small storage location or IC called cells. Each of these cells can store a fixed number of bits called word lengths. Each cell has a unique number assigned to it called address of the cell and it is used to identify the cells. The address at O and the goes up to N up to 1. You should know that the memory is like large cabinet containing as many drawers as their address on memory. Here is the calculation for capacity of memory. 64 kilobyte is equal to uh, 1024 bytes and 1 kilo 1 kilobyte is equal to uh, 1024 bytes and a memory size range from few kilobyte in a small system to several thousand kilobyte in large beam frame and supercomputer A memory capacity may be 64 kilobyte, 4 megabyte, 8 megabyte, or even 60 megabyte. Here are some terms related to memory of a computer. The first one is RAM. The primary storage is referred to as RAM because it is possible to randomly select and use any location of memory directly to store and retrieve data. It takes some time to any address of the memory as the first address. It also called a read-write memory. The storage of data and instruction inside the primary memory storage is temporary. That is what we call RAM a volatile memory. It is a memory that is changeable. ROM or read only memory. There is another memory in computer which is called ROM. It is IC inside the PC that for the ROM. The storage of program and the data in ROM is permanent. It is not volatile like RAM. That is why we call it non-volatile memory. There is another type of me primary memory in a computer which is called programmable read-only memory. You know that it is not possible to modify or erase programs stored in ROM. However, it is possible for PROM chip. Once the program are written, it called it cannot be changed or remain on the disk. EPROM EPROM means erasable program will read only memory, which overcame the problem of PROM and ROM.
a prom chip can be programmed time and again by erasing the information stored earlier in it. Information stored in a prom exposing the chip for some time. Ultraviolet light and it erase chip is reprogrammed using special programming facility. When we use a program, the information can only be read. Cache memory, the speed of CPU is extremely high when we compare it with name memory. Therefore, the process of CPU decreases due to the slow speed of main memory. To decrease this mismatch, we use cache memory. Cache memories are accessed much faster than conventional RAM. It is used to store program or data currently being executed or temporarily data frequently used by CPU. So each memory makes main memory to be faster and larger than it really is. Registers The CPU processes data and instruction with high speed. There is also movement of data between various units of computer. It is necessary to transfer the processed data with high speed. So the computer uses a number of special memory units called registers. They are not part of the main memory but they store data or information temporary and passes pass it on directly by the control unit. What we have seen here is all is about types of memory. Secondary memory. Secondary memory is in general there are types of memory outside of a computer system. They are also known as auxiliary memory. They are not as much expensive when we compare with primary memory. Most widely used secondary storage devices are magnetic tapes and the magnetic discs. Magnetic tape are used for large computers like mainframe computers. It is very large computer uh, which contain a high volume data. And tapes consist of magnetic material that store data permanently. It can be a 12.5 mm to 25 mm wide plastic film type and sometimes it long even more than 500 meter to up to 1200 meter. Here is an image of magnetic tape. Its advantages are four. It is compact. A 10 inch diameter reel of tape is 2400 feet long and is able to hold 800, 1600, or 6250 characters in each of its lengths. The maximum capacity is 180 million characters.
another advantage is it is economical the cost of storing character is very less as compared to other storage devices it is also fast it is long term storage and this re reusability is its advantage of magnetic tape magnetic disk you may have seen the gramophone record which is circular like disk and coat with magnetic mat material magnetic di disk used in computer are made on the same principle with that of gramophone It rotate with high speed inside the computer drive. Data is stored on both the surface of the disk. Magnetic disks are most popular for direct access storage device. Each disk consists of number of invisible concentric circle called tracks. Information is recorded on track of disk surface on the forms of teeny magnetic spot floppy disk is similar to magnetic disk it is however 5.25 inch or 3.5 inch in diameter they came in single or double decini Optical disk uh, with every new application in the software there is a greater demand for memory capacity It is the necessity to store large volume of data that has led to the development of optical disk storage media Optical disk can be divided into the following category compact disk uh, or read only memory uh, CD-ROM discs are made of reflective metals. CD-ROM is written during the process of manufacturing by high power laser beam. Here, the storage density is very high, storage cost is very low, and access time is fast. Warm. The inconvenience that we cannot write anything into cd is avoided by war it means you can write once and erase it and you can rewrite it again on war erasable optical disk these are optical disk where data can be written erased and rewritten this also applies a laser beam to write and rewrite the data so the difference between two is this one is erasable while the first one is not input output devices a computer is only useful when it is able to communicate with external environment when you work with the computer you feed your data and instructions through some device to the computer this device is known as input device. Let me see each of them. The first one is keyboard. This is uh, the standard input device tied to all computer. The layout of computer is just like the traditional typewriter of the type uh, Q WERTY it also contains some extra command keys and the functional keys it contains a total of 101 to 104 keys simply keyboard is the first input device the second one is mouse the mouse of the computer that you can see on the figure 3.4 is another example of input
the third one scanner scanner is used to input pictures it means something that keyboard cannot there are different types of optical scanner such as MISR, OMR and OCR here is the difference magnetic ink character recognition this is widely used by banks to process large volume of checks and drafts optical mark reader is used when students have appeared on optical tests and optical character recognition is used for direct reading of any printed material output devices first one is visual display unit the most popular input or output device is visual display unit it is also known as monitor it's used to display data it can be color or even monochrome terminal it is very popular interactive output input device it can be divided into two hard copy terminal and the soft copy terminal printer is the third one is printer it is important output devices by which you are going to print the documents it can be uh, impact and then an impact printer impact printer use the familiar typewriter approach of hammering a typeface against the paper and the ink ribbon it also use laser printer and ink printer of these types here is an example here is a figure Let me see what the software is. Uh, a, set, a set of instruction is called a program, and a, the set of program is also known as software. And the process of software development is known as programming. Computer software is divided into two application software and system software application software is set of program to carry out operation for a specific application example payroll is an application software microsoft of sword is uh, the same for that such is application software system software however it is software that used to run a computer system itself is that is what we he is defined as a set of one or more program designed to control the operation of computer system
it is uh, not possible to run this application software without system software it means that system software is more important than application software an example of system software is window unix dos and etc this figure shows the relationship between hardware and the software hardware system software application software and the user people uh, people is the most important element of information system or information technology people resource include information specialist and the end user information system specialist is such as system analyst programmer and end user is anyone is who uses information system information system specialist is system analyst database administrator network specialist programmer and operator these are information system specialists procedure play an important role in smooth and effective utilization of information system this implies that Procedure is also one component of IT. Example User instruction, instruction for preparation of input by data preparation personnel, operating instruction for computer operation, and etc. Information, the reason for using information technology. It, for example, in order to support of business operations, support manager decision making support the strategy and competitive advantage and so much so more here is an example now let me see the business values of it it can be used in finance and accounting it can be used in sales and the marketing it can be used in manufacturing it can be used in human resource management it can be used in project management in data analysis and so much so more another topic is global it applications uh, global customer global product rationalized operation flexible operation joint resource risk reduction legal requirement and global information technology another topic is internet service provider internet service provider are companies companies that sell access to internet using world wide web and uh, why do we process such as email which enable us in order to send email so this is all about information technology thank you for being with us and do not forget to subscribe thank you very much bye